Hello everyone, Grudge here. Today we're going to talk about some more headphones, specifically the Hi-Fi Man Arias. We will make a little reference to the Anandas because they are uh, the next step down in price. They are currently going on Amazon for $360. Uh, the Arias are going for six to $650. And considering they are originally $1,600, yeah, it's a pretty good deal. And... I can see them definitely competing at $1,600. They're that good. So with Christmas time coming up, got somebody you want to buy a really nice pair of headphones for? Yeah, don't even hesitate. Get these. They'll love you. Uh, they'll worship the ground you walk on. You might get some extra benefits. You just never know. You never know. So <laughs> implying that. But we are going to briefly touch on the Anandas. We might as well do that right now. So these are $360 currently on Amazon. And what do these do that these don't? It's soundstage. If you are someone who loves to listen to live albums, especially um, Pink Floyd's Pulse album is one of my favorites to, to listen to for chill time. Um, I prefer the Anandas for that. The level of detail on these isn't quite as good, but the separation and soundstage is better on the Anandas. But that's, you know, like I say, live music, you're going to find some that you're absolutely going to prefer the Anandas. But this headphone's kind of a jack-of-all-trades, you know, the, the Ari is. Um, it does everything really well. Maybe not best in class, but it does everything really well. It doesn't matter if you're listening to rap R&B, country, rock, metal, blues, um, soft rock. You know, I put on the Greatest Showman soundtrack, and it sounds amazing. So this headphone does everything well. It's not just one genre of music that it's going to do well with. So we're going to rate comfort, number one, 9.5 out of 10. I'm sure somewhere out there, there's a more comfortable pair of headphones out there. Um, I haven't found them yet. Okay, these are incredibly comfortable. I wear them for hours. I have very large ears, and I do not get sore. Uh, we'll take another quick look here. Nice up close and personal. All right, so beautiful headphone. Now, the adjustments on them, it's a nice tactile slider on each side. Um, they open way up. So if you've got a big melon, you're going to be great. If you got a really tiny head, you might find the lowest setting would be, mm, I don't know. But an average size head, you got no problems. I'm just uh, second notch up, and they fit perfectly. Uh, ear pads are very comfortable. They're a um, leatherette or lambskin material. Uh, they do have this lovely padding here. Now, one thing that I just did, I swiveled the ear cups. That is one thing that your the Anandas, they do not swivel. They're stationary. So that's, I think, one of the reasons that the Arias tend to be just that little bit more comfortable. They adapt to your head a little bit better. Um, but the Anandas are not uncomfortable. They're just, and the silver does look nice too. But, um, yeah, they're not uncomfortable by any stretch. They're just not Quiet as comfortable as the Arias. Um, both headphones are very similar in impedance and sound, uh, like sound sensitivity, uh, the amount of decibels that you get per volt or, or milliwatt. So, yeah, they're both very comparable. So if you have, like, the topping DX3 Pro, like I have, and I'll show you that here. Oh, this is the amp I'm currently using. It works absolutely fine. Um with either one of these headphones. They both sound very, very, very good. Um, so, while I've got the screen opened up, I'm going to quickly show you how I set my headphones up. So, for EQing, I like the Harman Target. So, if you go to Auto EQ and you type in Hi-Fi Man Aria right here. Uh, in fact, here's more accurately because these are the stealths. So, here's the stealth. You're going to uncheck raw, error, equalizer, and equalize. This is the Harman target. I'm using the piece add-on for equalizer APO. 
So I'm going to go to this drop down, and they have so many options, you know, depending on what EQ you're using. I like Equalizer APO. Uh, you're going to go to Piece. You're going to click Download right here because here's all the adjustments. Boom, Download. You're going to save it. You're going to go here to Import on your Equalizer APO. You're going to select the one you want, and then you're going to hit Open. Boom, Done. Save it in Equalizer APO. Um, give it a symbol. Uh, you can change the color of the symbols in them. And, uh, and that's it. You're done. You have now officially EQ'd your headphones. And I will say these headphones do not require EQ. They sound really, really good. Um, so this here, by the, in the grand scheme of things, is minor compared to a lot of headphones that I, I own and have used. So this, this is nothing. This is a little bit of tweaking to make them sound go from great or amazing to otherworldly. Uh, it, it really sounds good. So with Christmas time coming up and all that, yeah, I definitely recommend. If you're thinking, man, I've got that person, they have everything, um, or I really want to get them something special, if you get them this this amp here you get them the uh if i can find find the page here we go oh here it is here it is. you get them this topping dx3 pro 170 bucks and we might as well go ahead and go to amazon let's see here um okay so yeah let's go uh let's change it to aria let's see what right now I'm trying not to have this video go too long, by the way. So, all right. So here's the Aria. Yeah, right here. Aria Stealth. That's the one. 600 bucks. Right there. Take home all day. Amazing, amazing headphone for that price. So don't hesitate. If you're on the fence about it, you know, you've been trying to think of that headphone to get. Or, hey, you know what? You're, you're already into the audiophile world and... You're thinking, man, I can't spend $1,600 on a pair of headphones. And you wondered what $1,600 headphones sound like. We'll just get these and you'll find out. So they're absolutely amazing. Comfort, like say, 9.5 out of 10. Sound, we'll say 9.5 out of 10 because I'm sure there's some $5,000 headphone that's going to sound better than these. I don't know how, but I'm sure they would. And uh, let's see, durability. I'm going to give them a 9 out of 10. I think if you sit on these, like I did to my Anandas, uh, the first pair I had, uh, they may not survive. But uh, I feel like the build quality is very good. So if you take care of your stuff and you don't throw it around, I don't anticipate these breaking. You know, uh, pad changes down the road. Yeah, I was looking at pads, actually. And we're talking like 25 to $50 to put to do replacement pads on these so not that bad at all actually i've got some Deconi pads for another pair of headphones that were a hundred dollars you know quite easily so uh yeah maintenance on these is reasonably priced sound quality amazing build quality great and comfort really good so that's kind of my two cents on these um I mean, I could bring up, uh, if I had all the fancy equipment, I could show you, you know, the um, how these things EQ out and, and all that, how they, they show up on the meters. But um, I think you'll find plenty of videos out there that will do just that. Uh, but I don't have the equipment anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but, yeah, that's about it for this video. Uh, if you found this content helpful, I will say please like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. I don't plug that much. Um, I, I'm not going to harp at people. If, if you enjoyed it, great. So that's about all I got. As always, I've been Grudge. You've been great. And I will catch you the next time. See you later, folks.